हेलो इंजीनियर्स एंड वी आर बैक विथ अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन वेरिफिकेशन विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट दिस इक्वेशन टू सो वी विल वर्क आउट वन सैम्पल फ्रेम मॉडल विच इज सिमेट्रिक इन द जोमेट्री एंड सिमेट्रिक इन द लोडिंग एज वेल एन द फॉलोइंग इज द डेटा which means the frame supports a concentrated load at the middle of this particular member so we need to verify the geometrical properties and we have the specifications in the form of column properties which are having the size of 2 by 2 inch similarly we have beam with width of 2 inch and depth of 4 inch following is the property that we need to work out so if we summarize uh, the data uh, whatever the information that we have which is following right based on that we can work out the manual validation first then we will switch to the stat part in order to work out the reaction and moment value all right so modeling is very simple we have height length load value this we can easily model now let's understand about the equation part for this particular symmetrical geometry so i have this moment equation for this particular geometry uh, which is in terms of moment wl by 8 and 1 divided by 1 plus 2 third of h by l with the ratio of inertia right so basically this particular equation is used to calculate the moment at the supports of the symmetrical portal frame subjected to the concentrated load at the midpoint of its the horizontal member so this formula incorporates the stiffness property of the both the horizontal and vertical members of the frame and see this equation the next question that comes in your mind is that how this equation is derived so it is derived from the analysis of symmetrical portal frames using the classical methods of structural analysis uh, such as the moment distribution method or slope deflection method and these methods are covered in very different categories of the well known uh, structural analysis textbooks as well you can find uh, this particular equation in that book as well i am providing you the uh, reference name of the books as well you can find this equation in any of this books so the specific equation arises when you analyze the moment distribution in a symmetrical portal frame subjected to the load at its midpoint so in this formula it accounts for the relative stiffness of the beam and columns to determine how much of the applied moment is carried by each member right so basic moment equation uh, the term wl by 8 uh, represents the basic moment calculation for a simply supported beam with the point load at its midpoint and this value is used as a starting point to determine the moment at the supports of the symmetrical portal frame similarly uh, the next term modifies the basic moment to account for the relative stiffness of the column and beam okay so in the next part we have this h by l term so this term represents uh, the ratio of the height of the columns to the length of the beam similarly we have this inertia ratio right so it represents the ratio of moment of inertia of the beam to the columns and we have a factor 2/3 so this factor is derived from the slope deflection or moment distribution method accounting for the contribution of each member's stiffness to the overall deflection and moment now see what is the important see the equation adjust the importance of this equation is that this particular equation adjusts the moment at the supports of a frame based on the distribution of stiffness between the columns and the beams so this is crucial in understanding how different member properties like size and material will influence the load carrying capacity and bending moments in a frame structure so this equation is particularly useful in designing the frame structures where the beams and column sizes vary or in optimizing material use while ensuring structural integrity so now let's understand uh, see as you can observe we have beam with the different size and column with the different size right so we will switch to the manual calculation part based on the given equation 
right now in order to work out the equation part first of all you need to work out the moment of inertia uh, for your beam as well as for the column and in both the case we have the size as well right so first of all we will work out the moment of inertia for each element so it's pretty simple uh, bd cube by 12 is the equation for your calculation of the moment of inertia you can easily calculate like this I have provided the calculations in the step by step format right similarly once you derive the moment of inertia uh, we need to put all these values in the given equation based on the WL by 8 W is ultimately your P that is your load value into the this parameter so we, we, we can work out this in step by step mode first of all we will calculate the WL by 8 and then we will go with this particular term so if I want to calculate WL by 8 I can simply put the values over here whatever the values which is given in the data the like thousand pound into the L value divide by 8 1 plus 2 third H by L that is your 120 and 100 L and H value length and height right similarly inertia value we have already calculated over here so we can put this value here so I need to calculate this and this two separately if I'm working on a calculator so let me just calculate this and if I work out this particular term I'll get this WL by 8 as 12,500 pound similarly uh, for the next this particular term I'll work out this calculation separately and uh, you can calculate with me as along with the calculation so you will get the value as 6.4 so 12,500 into 1 divided by 1 plus this value I'm getting as 6.4 so ultimately uh, this 6.4 the parameter will be 1 upon 1 plus 6.4 that will be 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 6.4 plus 1 that will be 7.4 and this is 12,500 so if I incorporate these values over here I'm getting the moment value as roundly about 2,754 pounds inch right now the same calculation we will validate in the stat model alright so let's switch to the stat see the geometrical portion is pretty simple so again I'm not modeling this this is for your understanding and refer reference purpose only so you will get an idea how you need to correlate all the things about the software calculation and the manual calculation right so this is one of the example now let's switch to the stat model so I have already modeled this particular segment here for your understanding as it is 120 inch this is 100 inch and for the property part uh, as I told you earlier see whatever the values we have in the data form that value we gonna use that is modulus of elasticity and the I value that we will implement in the material form in order to get the accurate results right so first of all when you model the geometry the next important point is you need to incorporate the material data in your stat model in order to get the same results so I have created that material property over here based on the given values Young modulus and poisons ratio I have incorporated and created this material one and based on this I have provided the sizes over here all right so 2 by 2 inch is my column size similarly I have beam size 2 by 4 so that I have implemented if I show you this in the 3d it will look something like this now just for to get the output printed at the mid level I want to work out this at this junction that's why I have just inserted a node over here it doesn't make any difference if even if you don't create a node over here you will get the actual value in the diagram as well but I want it to print that result at this particular node that's why I have just put it at additional node at the midpoint that is the difference nothing else so now let's switch to the loading part I'll switch to the loading part over here I have created one simple load case and implemented the thousand pound value over here 
right as in point load at the mid junction right similarly once you finish this uh, just go to the command prompt add the perform analysis command and I have additionally put two additional command which is for print support reaction and print member forces for member 2 and 3 so these are the additional command I have added in order to print the results anyway you can check your results in the post processing tab or in the diagram tab as well right so now let's run the analysis and check whether we are able to get the same results or not from the manual calculation that we got right now let's say you, if you don't want to check out in the output file you can just go to the post processing mode right and here as well you can get the values so if I click on MZ I'll get the values over here I'll click on the NR date option click here in the bending moment at the mid location or wherever I want to print so I'll get the values right let's say I want to print it here at maximum so 2.72 value that is we are getting at the midpoint and 2.75 we are getting here so this is the same value that we are getting now let's check out the output as well whether it has printed or not so I click on the support reaction and you can check here see thousand pound as we have thousand pound force each reaction as in 500 500 as a vertical reaction that we are getting force we are getting over here and if I click on the member forces right here I'm getting the moment as you can see 2754 right and the unit is in pound inch so similar value we are getting over here right if you check out 2754 so that was the another equation for your information if you have similar segment you can directly work out the M values utilizing this equation right so tell me in the comment box uh, your about your feedback what category of the manual validation you want and based on that in the upcoming session I'll bring more manual verification sample problems for all of you so these are majority of the questions from the students about the beams and frames for the manual validation regarding the temperature as well so we have all validated all those sample problems over here stay tuned for the next session in the next session we will deal with more complex problem with the manual calculation and remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you so much